name's Seth, and today we're going to be going over how we change out our filters here at Century Air Systems with our SS218 PCR. Uh, we have here the unit. It's running right now. Uh, so what we're going to do to be safe is we're going to shut it off, turn off the, the, the blower as well as the light. From here, we're going to unplug the blower and the light. Okay. Once that's done, we can lift out the blower from the top here and set it on its back. Okay. From here, you can see we have four thumb screws, and we want to loosen these up. I'm going to back these up so it's level with the frame, so it doesn't uh, catch the filter when you try to slide it in. And if you back them out too much, that's okay. It's threaded. You'll be able to put these back in. Okay, from here, I'm going to hold the power cord up with the handle. And the filter is going to want to slide right out. Okay, so here we have our filter, our HEPA filter, and then the pre-filter. So we'll dispose of this. We'll take our, net, our new HEPA filter and our pre-filter. And on this HEPA filter, you can see there's a flange that the pre-filter will sit in. So you can set it down and just gently push it in here. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want to damage the HEPA. And it slides right in here. Okay. Okay, so with this unit, the directional airflow is going to be coming from the top down through the bottom of the hood. So and it, this filter also has a sticker which helps with uh, that direction to help you uh, take a look at to know you're putting it in the right way. So you're going to have the air coming through, the gas that's going to be up against the fan, you'll have a pre-filter, then you'll have your HEPA filter. To replace this, lift the handle up here, hold the power cable back up a little bit, I'm going to slide right back in. Okay. From here, we're going to put a little pressure on the filter up against the flange, and you can start tightening up the thumb screws. So with these thumb screws, you don't want to put them too tight, you just want them to be snug. You don't, you don't have to over-tighten them. Just enough to create some pressure with the gas. Okay, so once we have these in here, just make sure they're snug like that. Okay, so from here, we're just going to put the unit back up in. Plug the blower in and plug the, the light in. All right, and from here we can turn this on. Turn on the light. We recommend waiting 20 to 30 seconds approximately to blow out the dirty air, and then that will get you your ISO class 5 environment. Thank you. Hi, my name is Seth, and uh, here at Sedge Air Systems, we're going to be going over how you clean the inside of our 218 PCR. Um, recommend starting off with the right uh, PPE, gloves, and, and iPro. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to shut off our chassis, the blower, as well as the lights. And once you have it shut off, we recommend unplugging them to be safe here. Um, we can open the front sash here, this will stay up for us. We recommend using 70% isopropyl alcohol as well as, well as uh, lint-free cloths. Now the process we do we use to clean this is we're going to start from the back. The back wall, we work from top to bottom. Make sure you over, overlap your wipes, move to the sides, top to bottom, overlapping your wipes, and then you can go back to the bottom and do the same process. So we'll take our alcohol here. Start up on the top and the back. Just go side to side and work your way down with overlapping wipes. All the way down to the bottom. Move over to the side here. Same process. We're going to start at the top, side to side, and work your way down. Okay. Move over to the other side. Start at the top. Side to side, work your way down. And then we'll do the bottom. We'll do the same process, start at the back here, 
side to side and work your way to the front. That's the inside right there. You can do is you can get another lint free cloth here. This for the front sloping lid. Now this is up. You push the bottom curtains up. Same process to start at the top. Go side to side and work your way down. Now from here, if it's easier for you to clean the vinyl curtains, you could do it this way, or you can close them and then get your hand in here and work this way to clean. Whichever is easier for you. Once you have, once you're done with that process, we'll throw this away. Hold this in. Turn your light on here. Turn the blower on. Once you turn this on, we recommend 20 to 30 seconds to wait to blow out all the dirty air. Um, that way you'll make, make sure you maintain your ISO class five environment. And that's what it takes to clean these hoods. Thank you.